Hello everyone, I'm Rakhi and today in this session, in this video, I will be discussing question number 4th and it's on page number 224 of chapter number 7, Equilibrium class 11th NCERT text. Fine, so let's see what the question is all about and then we'll solve the solution for it. Fine, so the question is, write the expression for the equilibrium constant Kc. For each of the following reactions, so these five following reactions are being given to us and we need to express um, these uh, uh, equations in terms for equilibrium constant. Fine, so let's begin with the solution and let's solve the first part of the question. So the first part of the question, uh, the equation which is given to us is twice of NOCl gaseous is in equilibrium with twice of NO which is in the gaseous form plus Cl2 in the gaseous form. I'm solving the solution for this part of the question and Kc for this equation is equals to NO in the power of 2 plus NO plus then Cl2 it does not have any uh, what we say stoichiometric coefficient and NOCl having to as the stoichiometric coefficient. Fine, so this is the equilibrium constant Kc for the given reaction number 1. Fine, moving on to the next part of the question, it was for the first part. Now moving for the second part of the question, the equation which is given to us is twice of CuNO32 which is in the solid state is in equilibrium with twice of CuO which is in the solid state plus 4 of NO2 gaseous state plus oxygen in the gaseous state. Fine, so let's do it. So Kc is equal to CuO having the stoichiometric coefficient 2 then NO2 having the stoichiometric coefficient 4 and then oxygen. Find divided by me Cu NO3 cut twice having the stoichiometric coefficient as 2. But let me tell you, my dear viewers, that the uh, what we say concentration for the uh, what we say uh, concentration for the compounds which is in the solid state is always 1. So you can see over here, uh, copper oxide is in the solid state, so therefore the concentration for it will be 1. And over here, CuNO3 twice, which is also in the solid state, so for so the concentration for this also, for this compound also will be 1. So Kc for the second reaction becomes is equal to NO2 having the stoichiometric coefficient 4 and oxygen. Fine, so this is the equilibrium constant for second part of the reaction. Fine. Now moving on to the third part of the question. Fine. So if we see the third equation, just have a look on the third equation, third reaction. So, Kc for the third reaction is equal to CH3COOH, then C2H5OH divided by CH3COOC2H5 and H2O. So my dear friends, I also want to tell for this part of the question that uh, concentration for water is always unity. Fine. So the answer, so the equilibrium constant for this part of the reaction or the equation is CH3 COOH C2 H5 OH and CH3COOC2H5. Fine. So this is the equilibrium constant for the third part of the equation. Fine. Moving on to the fourth part of the question.
Hmm. So the fourth part of the question is Fe3 positive in the aqua state plus thrice of OH negative in the aqua state forms Fe OH for thrice in the solid state. Fine. So the equilibrium constant for this equation is F E O H ka thrice divided by F E three positive and O H negative having the stoichiometric coefficient of three. Fine. As I already told you, ki for the solid compound, the equilibrium constant or the concentration will be unity. So the equilibrium constant for the fourth part of the question is. 1 divided by Fe3 positive and OH negative raised to power 3. Fine. So this is the equilibrium constant for the fourth part of the question. Moving on to the fifth part of the question. Kc for this equation is equals to IF 5 having the stoichiometric coefficient 2 divided by I2 which is in the solid state and F2 having the stoichiometric coefficient 5. Take care. Since iodine molecule is in the solid state over here, so the concentration for it will be unity and hence the equilibrium constant for this equation becomes I F5 2 divided by me fluorine having the stoichiometric coefficient 5. Fine, so this is the equilibrium constant for the fifth part of the question. And I don't feel there would be any, any kind of doubt regarding any of the following five parts which I have done over here on the blackboard for calculating out for the equilibrium constant for the given equations or the reaction. Fine, and this was all about this session. It's Miraki saying you all goodbye.